The next thing and probably much more useful than the visuals is batch updating or bulk updating. So how would we normally do this within Laravel? Let's take a look at the way that we can't do this first of all. So let's go ahead and use post here. And let's just say that we wanted to go ahead and update all posts to update their title. Well, let's go ahead and pass in a new title here and just say a new title. And you can see that my editor is telling me that this method doesn't actually exist. If we come over and give this a refresh, you can see the update cannot be called statically. So the way that we would get around uh, bulk updating and not having to use the model itself would be to use the DB facade. So we would go ahead and use the DB facade here, which we'll just pull in very quickly. We'd reference the table name, and then we would go ahead and call update on this, passing through the data that we wanted to update. So a new title. You can see that from before, of course, this didn't actually update. So let's go over and just give this a refresh. And if we head back over to the database, there we go. Both of them records have been updated in one query with that new title. Now doing this always makes me feel a little bit more uncomfortable. So it's not the end of the world because database tables don't change names that often, but I much prefer to do this at the actual model level, much like this. How do we do that? Well, very, very simple. We just use the query builder method to pull back a builder before we call update on it. So let's pull this line down here and let's go ahead and say query and update. There we go. So let's go another new title and let's go back over and give that a refresh. And there we go. So that's been updated. And I much prefer this way because we are referencing the model directly itself, which means if the database does change or if we have anything else on that model that triggers when we do an update, then that will work nicely. A word of warning though, this will still not fire eloquent events. When you do a bulk update on anything within Laravel, it will never fire events for that model. So you can't use this with model events without any kind of tweaking. But this is more of a visual change just so you can see a little bit clearer of what we're updating rather than using the DB facade, pulling that in and referencing the table itself. So there we go. The query method is useful for batch updating.